In this video, we're going to learn how to play the F chord, the dreaded F chord in the first position. We're going to take a look at the best fingering, wrist, elbow, and thumb position for you so you can play this cleanly and easily. Hey everyone, Rod DeGeorge here, and welcome to episode 12 of my beginner guitar series, the F chord. Okay, so this is one of the chords that give a lot of people trouble in the beginning. Um, a lot of people avoid this chord because it's, uh, it can be difficult in the beginning, but it doesn't have to be. So let's take a look at what we're actually doing. One of the trickier things is because the first and second fret, we have to bar. First finger, first fret. Okay? And then we do the middle finger on the second fret of the third string. Third fret, we have our third finger, fourth string. Okay? Now, trying to get this all to ring out can cause some trouble for a lot of people. What I do is, I found this works with a lot of my students. You probably won't be able to see it, but I actually rest more on the side of my first finger. Now this is going to be an exaggeration, but if I bring my elbow in and I lay my finger on its side, that is going to be a lot easier than trying to angle it like this and reach like this. So what I do is I drop my thumb a little bit, okay, and I bring the elbow in and I lay this first finger on its side. Again, I'm going to exaggerate so you can really see this. But right there, the strings are hitting on the side of the first finger. And then, again, these fingers are not straight on. They're sort of like the C chord or the B minor chord, if you saw those videos, where I'm kind of angled a little back here. So there's sort of a little bit on the side of the finger. All of these especially that first finger is playing it right on the side, uh, laying right on its side to get those fingers. A lot of times that puts people in a better position to get this. And again, as we talked about in so many of the videos, the knuckles are not angled, they're more parallel in relationship to the guitar neck. I think that'll help a lot with uh, people trying to play this chord. Make sure the knuckles are more parallel what that does, it really bends this third and middle finger and it allows you to get in the side of that first finger. So once again, we want to pick the notes individually, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, to make sure everything rings out clearly and we want to do it in a musical fashion. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So all I'm doing there is fourth, third, second, third, and then I go first, second, third, fourth. One and two and three and four and. That's a good way to practice it. Or if we're doing, uh, if you want to do more of a, a waltz type feel, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Or you could count that six, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's a great way to practice this. All right, so playing this chord, it's going to be a little tricky at first, <clears throat> but if you stick with it, I know you're going to be able to get it. I think laying that first finger more on its side is going to help. Bringing the knuckles more parallel to the neck and bringing this up a little bit. If you have too much space here, it flattens this out. We really want these knuckles, all these knuckles curved here for these two and this first finger we lay on its side. Hopefully you found that helpful. I also wanted to let you know that I do have a free lesson in the description below on how to switch between the chords quickly and easily. It's not just about repetition, it's about understanding the mechanics behind the movement so you can practice the repetitions properly to ensure much quicker results. So if you're interested, just click the link below and it's yours absolutely free. If you have any questions or comments, about this lesson or would like to see a different type of lesson, please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Also, if you like this video, click the like button. And if you want to see more videos, hit the subscribe button. Be sure to hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button 
so YouTube can make you aware of when a new video is released. That being said, I'm Rod DeGeorge. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you again soon. Have a great day. Peace.